the the artwork you laid out the track made all that happen at the dealer X or at the aim expo yeah no it's pretty cool we uh about five weeks before the event i got the call because i think somebody was supposed to do it and they kind of backed out and they're like hey we heard you could put an event together if we need to and i was like ah, i guess so and uh yeah we kind of collaboration my wife did the artwork i did kind of like lay out got all the riders and set the track up and did all that process and it was fun to be part of the aim expo uh you know 2019 and and uh, we actually launched, you know, kind of got the, uh, the Himalayans out there on the track for the first time. We had demo three of, three of these bikes went around the short track for the first time. So it was pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Yep. Uh, and then do you have a program where you could do something similar for a dealer? Really large scale dealer that would yeah, want to like, do it? Yeah, you mean set up a little race kind of weekend yeah. event? Yeah, you know, I actually have ran multiple amateur races besides that one so in the past. So I have a good following of amateurs. So kind of setting up the structure of it, you know, the infrastructure of the riders and what needs to be done, the safety side of things and the prevent promotion as far as, you know, kind of the riders know where to go, get all information and stuff like that. Yeah, we can definitely set it up. And then Moto Anatomy is separate from Slide School. So you could also conduct a Slide School with a different bike or another dealer network if need be. Yeah, in, in theory, yeah. So my 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 school originally started as, as Moto Anatomy. Um, and then it became the, the Roy Enfield Slide School by Moto Anatomy. Um, it's basically me just putting the school on for, for them in North America. And, you know, I still run my Moto Anatomy only schools, which, uh, you know, riders can bring their own bikes and actually train on their bikes and I can help set up their bikes to be ready to go racing and, and you know, advance their skills on their own motorcycle. Got anybody that we would know that's taking you up on that kind of training? Uh, I've worked with probably a couple Everybody? thousand people now. Yeah, a lot of people uh, across the U.S. have taken their classes. I've gone to Canada. I've gone to Netherlands, U.K. Um, you know, if, pretty much if, they, if they've raced, they have almost a lot of people came through my program. And then you're one of the few riders who's put how many? Seven different manufacturers uh, into the, the main? They're actually at ten now. Yeah, ten. At ten different manufacturers between 450s and twins. Uh, you know, since 2009, basically, so about 11 years, it's, uh, you know, uh, 10 different brands. The road has you know, been the last one, number 10, and I'm number 10, and maybe it's the last one I put in, you know. But you won. So yeah, that's we, pretty amazing. Yeah, we, we were to get the win at Daytona. It was pretty, pretty big process getting there. Uh, you know, this is the first year, like, you know, we, they launched the, the bike at the ECMA show in 2019, you know, last winter. Um, and, you know, kind of since then, we've been developing this bike and kind of developing it to that next level. And obviously COVID kind of pushed back a lot of the progress and we started a little later. And then all the races were kind of over top of each other, bam, 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 you know, like one after another. And, uh, you know, what? we had some good success the first, the first go around, uh, first race. And then we had some issues and then we were able to kind of fix some stuff for Daytona and actually uh, come out with a win in second place during the season. And how much of the development work? Spondon did the frame and SNS did the exhaust and stuff, but how much seat time did you and feedback did you give so, to the guys? Yeah, so Harris Performance in the UK did the frame. Uh, SNS does the exhaust, but the motors are built in uh, the UK. You know, that's where the development center's at, and they've been working on building. Uh, building up, kind of punching that thing out to an 800cc from its original 650. That's what we're allowed in that class, the production class is an 800cc. So they've been doing that. And we actually run the SNS and um, uh, ECU and stuff too. So the, the wiring harness is all done by uh, SNS. And they, they help me with the mapping of the bike and, and tuning it a little bit more at the track. So um, yeah, other than that, you know, we just, I was from the get go a sense of, you know, they built a concept bike, I rode it and made a you know laundry list of things hey i want to change not that it was bad but i want to change and improve or give more adjustability and uh you know they didn't deny me at all they said okay whatever you want you know because they knew i had the background to kind of put this thing together and it was really cool that they were able to give me that kind of uh you know capabilities of me being in charge to say hey i want to do this this and this and they listened and that's one of the things that played favor for us this year was uh, being able to adjust the chassis the way I want at certain tracks. You know, the tracks change so much. We got to be able to learn to adapt to the track in a really short period of time. So not just being able to change the stuff, but actually even change the stuff quickly. And that was one of the things I've, you know, made clear is like, we have to do this quickly at the racetrack. We don't get much time to make these changes. So uh, they did everything I needed to do and allowed us to do it. And we came out and had a good motorcycle first year. That's awesome. What are your plans for next year? Uh, we're still planning just, you know, kind of keep developing this motorcycle. Since the last race, we haven't slowed down uh, the team in, in England 
kind of took my other laundry list of things with the motor and said, hey, let's do this, this, and this. This is where we need to be, and this is where we need to get to. Because uh, we have a lot of lot of long road ahead of us. You know, We only race short track and half miles this year, and we still have miles we're going to race next year. And there's a kind of an early schedule. i kind of seen a glimpse of some stuff, and it looks like there's going to be a few more miles on the schedule again, like normal years. And uh, you know, we have to get some power out of this thing and drop some weight out of it. And, uh, you know, just keep developing this bike, and, and then ultimately, hopefully, have multiple riders on this on this brand. Not just me, but also you know, kind of maybe develop some younger riders, and kind of uh, get the brand out there a little bit more, and keep doing some schools with the slide school with the FD four eleven, and uh, you know, just kind of embrace the brand.